appreciate him. Brethren, open your mouth and tell him, thank you, Lord Jesus. Father, we appreciate him. We glorify your name and we worship your majesty. Indeed, you have been a good father to us. You have never left us alone for a second. Our going out, you've been keeping it. Our coming in, you've been keeping it. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for delivering us from the hand of the enemy. Thank you for delivering us from the hand of the wicked. What the enemy thinks towards me and you is not even easy at all. But God has been fighting our battle even while we are sleeping. Father, we say, may your name alone be glorified in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, oh, brother, open your mouth and begin to appreciate him. Father, we acknowledge you. We say thank you. We cannot even thank you enough. Father, we say thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' wonderful name, we give thanks. Brethren, let's open our mouth again to thank God for our pastor, for all the ministers that God has been so good, he has been so kind to them. Father, we say, may your name alone be glorified in the mighty name of Jesus. Brethren, open your mouth, begin to ask for forgiveness of sin. For the Bible says, for all, Lord have seen, that for all of us have seen that we have come short of his glory. Let's say, Father, please have mercy. Let your mercy speak for us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Brethren, you know that even one person's sin can hinder, the, can hinder a, lot, a lot of people's progress. So let's, say, let's ask for mercy now. Let's tell God to have mercy upon each and every soul in this gathering this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your mercy speak for us in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' wonderful name we have prayed. Let's tell you to God. Let's open our hearts and tell God every of our heart desire this morning shall be granted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Everything we've been praying for, oh Lord. Father, we have been praying from January up to now that you have not seen the results. Let's tell God this morning that this morning, oh Lord, you will deliver the results to my hands in the name of Jesus. Brother, open your mouth. You can only talk to God. He's your father. He's your maker. He's always there to listen to your prayer in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' wonderful name, we have prayed. Let's commit today's service unto God's hand that it will take control. Let's commit this environment unto his hand, O Lord, that it should take control. Every gang up of hell concerning today's service shall be scattered, shall be destroyed. In the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says, Sure, they shall gather, but not by us. That whosoever that gather against us shall scatter for our sake. In the name of Jesus, we scatter and destroy the plans of the enemy. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' wonderful name, we have prayed. Father, we say thank you once again. We appreciate it because always you are our God. We say may your name alone be glorified in the name of Jesus. Father, we commit ourselves unto your humble that you will take charge. In the name of Jesus, you will protect us. In the name of Jesus, throughout this service, O oh Lord, you, you, only you will see. We will not see any other man except you in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father. I pray, O oh Lord, as we are going this week, O oh Lord, you will go with us in the name of Jesus Christ. Ah, Lord, we call Jesus, our blood will not be our blood will not be used as sacrifice in the name of Jesus Christ. Stray bullets will not eat us in Jesus' name. We will not die suddenly in the name of Jesus. It shall be well with us. This election, you will take charge. You will take control in the name of Jesus. Thank you, awesome Father. Thank you, faithful God. Thank you, everlasting Father. Thank you, ancient of days. For in Jesus' wonderful, most precious and excellent name, we have prayed. Hallelujah. Living soul in the house, shout the big hallelujah. hallelujah. Okay, we are warming up. If you're happy to be in God's presence this morning, I want you to show it in your action. Living soul in the house, shout the big hallelujah. hallelujah. Okay, we are coming up gradually. Small, small. Our voice has gotten to the entrance there. I want us to come both to yours. A living soul in the house, shout the big hallelujah! Some people are just waving their hands and their lips are closed. So we'll do it again. If you know you are happy to be alive today, like you are grateful to God for this gift of life, for the breath you have in your nostril, I want you to shout that hallelujah. Living soul in the house, shout the big hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This morning we'll be taking our hymn, hymn 73, Oh, worship the King. Hallelujah. Oh, what? 
that shines in the light. It streams from on high. It descends to the plain and sweetens the stills. To fail, thy mercy is out tender. I'll fail to the end. I'll make a defender. Redeemer, one more time. Pray, children of God, children of God, and people as friends. Indeed, do we trust? Indeed, do we trust? to fail. Thy mercy is out tender. I'll fail to the end. I'll make a defender, redeemer, and friend. I want us to take the first stanza. We will not be this fast. I want us to take it with understanding. Because it says we should worship the king, all glorious above. We should talk of his power and his love. And I believe that truly God has showered us with love this year. So I want us to sing that first stanza with understanding. Hallelujah. Oh, worship the King, oh, glorious above, oh, grateful is He, His power and His love, our shield and defender, the ancient of days, pavilion.
great and mighty God, so greatly to be praised, beautiful in all situations. You are the joy of the whole world. You could not sing, only you could sing. stubborn you have fasted you have prayed you have sown seed you have cried to god day and night you have done your best you have sacrificed what is have they said you should do that you have not done you have done everything the mountain is still standing and i say ebezina calm down chukuna so into 
Then see if you say, See what the Lord has done. If more people will say, Chere, hold on, can you sing? See, see what the Lord has done. What we waited for. What we waited for. Has come. Has come to pass. See what the Lord has done. And you know why you will sing that song? Because. See the way he loved me. See the way he cares for me. <laughs> he carried my matter for he had all. Jesus will carry your matter on his head. Jesus will be mindful of you. See the way you love me. See the way you care for me. You carry my matter for your head. Oh, be like a little baby, Jesus. You watch over me. Oh, you know they carry me they play.
al su zarabosha Because we are in your presence, let the heavens be, heavens be opened over us. Rain upon us testimonies. Rain upon us powers that will transform our lives. Rain upon us your glory that will decorate our lives. Rain upon us your glory that will wipe our tears away. Rain upon us your blessings that will change our stories. Rain upon us your blessings that will, open, that will open up our wombs. Rain upon us blessings that will give us answers to every question in our heart. May we leave your presence with testimonies this morning. Somebody give Jesus a shout. Imela chineke, imela oyama, imela imela, imela okaka, imela chineke, imela oyama. We say imela imela, imela okaka, imela chineke, imela oyama, imela imela, imela okaka, imela chineke, imela oyama, imela imela. Imela, 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 Imela,
Imela chineke, imela oyama Imela, imela, imela okaka Imela chineke, imela oyama Are you giving Jesus a dance offering? Hallelujah Imela, imela, imela okaka Imela chineke, imela oyama Imela, imela
concerning this video offering that we've given this morning. Father, you replenish our pockets in the name of Jesus. As the choir have sung that we are under your canopy, almighty God. Father, concerning this offering, we use it as a point of contact, almighty God. Father, I dust under your shadow in the name of Jesus. Build your word of fire around about us in the name of Jesus. Father, use this for the offering for your kingdom in the name of Jesus and sanctify it in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Praise the Lord. Oh, my. 
What is his name? What shall I say unto them? And God said unto Moses, I am that I am. And he said, Thus said, and he said, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, I am sent me unto you. Verse 15. And God said, Moreover, unto Moses, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, The Lord God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, and sent me unto you. Praise the Lord. So, paraventure that the Sunday is the only time you have to listen to the word of God. We have read the Bible together this morning. Praise the Lord. Moses have an encounter with God in the burning bush because he fled to Midian after he killed an Egyptian and he stayed there for 40 good years. So God met him in that burning bush. The bush was burning without consuming the grass and trees in that place. God told him, Moses, go to Egypt. You will set my people free. Moses says, Moses says, what? The Israelites, the stiff-necked people, we all know the children of Israel. They are stiff-necked naked people. When God help them today, tomorrow, they do something terrible to God. These are the people that was telling God in Numbers 11, 4 to 6. Now, why did God deliver them to a land that they could not see any to, anything to eat. They liked their suffering in Egypt. They liked the place where they were eating cucumber, where they were eating chicken and turkey. And that was the same place they were suffering. And they were crying unto God, God save us, God save us. Those are the type of people the Israelites were. So Moses said, how will I be able to tell them and they will believe? They know my background. They know that I was saved from baskets in the water. They know that I was brought up in Pharaoh's family. They also know that I'm a killer. Because when he killed the Egyptian, when he wanted to help the Israelites to save them from the hands of the Egyptians, with his power, he thought he can do it. At the end of the day, the Israelites turned against him and said, who made you a judge over us? Who sent you to be our boss? That made him to flee to Midian. And he stayed there with his father-in-law for 40 years. So he was worried. How will I tell these people? How will they believe me? Lord, you know I have tried it before, but I failed. But God told him, Moses, go. I said I will be with you. Because God knows that his presence with him is more than everything. But Moses was still worried. Say, Father, this task is too much for me. He now said, if I must go, Father, give me a sign. He said, God, before I will go, because they will ask me, who sent you? I want to know your name. I want to know your name. God said, oh, you want to know my name? That is fine. There's no problem. Remember, Moses first said, who am I that you will send to the Israelites? God now said, okay, let me show you that I am the God Almighty. I am the beginning and the ending. I am the first and the last. He's the God that sees the beginning from the ending. He sees the ending from the beginning. He now gives the work back to Moses. He reversed the work back to him. He said, as you go, tell them, I am who I am sent me. And he gave him three answers. For one question. He said, tell them, I am who I am sent me. Tell them, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. The Lord sent me to come and tell, your peop and tell you people to go with me. And that was the first time in history that God gave himself a name by himself. That I am that I am. And that is the original name, a real name of God. That is the original name of God. And because he is the almighty and the all-knowing God, 
That was why he was able to reverse and turn the name around and turn the word that Moses asked him and give it back to him. Tell them I am who I am sent me. Understanding the complexity, the weight and power in the name of I am. It is very important to every believer's life because God is all encompassing and God is self sufficient. I am is a name that is above every other name. That is why the Bible said in Philippians 2 10 to 11 that at the name of Jesus, at the mention of the name of Jesus Christ, every knee must bow of things in heaven and of things in earth and things underneath the earth. And every tongue must confess that Jesus is the Lord. That is the power in the name of God. This name shows that he is in charge. He is in the control. Irrespective of what is going on around you. Irrespective of the circumstances that surrounds you. God is still God. If you want him to be in charge, it's your choice. If you don't want him to be in charge, it's also your choice. But it is good for you to allow him to be in charge and in control. Because it is very easy to forget the name of God and to lose focus and sight of his majesty. But the good news is that when you meditate on the name that God gives to himself by himself, you will be able to put your time on earth in the right perspective. Praise God. God told them, I have heard their tears. I have heard your outcry. Just like the situation that is in Nigeria today. Cashless, econ uh, cashless economy. No fuel. Even if you transact business with someone, network will be a problem. That was their issue. So what are we to look onto? We have to look onto the I am that I am. Because he is our sustainer. He is our provider. He is our all in all. That is why I said earlier that the team for this month, it came at the right time. It's a team for the season. Praise God. Now the big question is, what does that name mean to you? The I am that I am. What does the I am mean to you? Is he your creator? Is he your healer? Let's see. Genesis 1, 1 to 3. The I am that I am is the creator of the whole universe. It says, In the beginning God created heavens and the earth. And the earth was form and void. And God said in verse 3, Let there be light. And there was light. God is the creator of the universe. He has the power to create anything creatable. He also has the power to form anything formable. Don't forget, he also has the power to destroy anything destroyable. That is why in Psalm 3 verse 9 it says, He spoke and he came to be. He commanded and he stood firm. He commanded the water to stay on his own. And he commanded the land to be on his own. He separated the firmament. He separated the darkness from light. That is the power of God. God still wants to prove to us that he's the creator of the whole universe. He formed man from his own image. Let's open our Bible to Genesis 2 verse 7. Genesis 2 verse 7. God wants to show his mightiness. He wants to convince us that man is formed from dust. Because so many persons, they ask some questions. They say, how come is God the creator of the whole universe? How did they create a man? And he wants to prove himself. Genesis 2 verse 7 says, And the Lord formed man of the dust of the ground and breath into his noses, the breath of life, and man became a living soul. Man became a living soul. God formed man from the dust. Now look at the proof to show that he is a supernatural God. Let's open our Bible to John 9, 1 to 7. John 9, 1 to 7. He says, When Jesus passing by, he saw a man born blind. For good 40 years, this man was completely in darkness. 
He was in total darkness. And the disciples have to ask him, Master, who sinned? Is it the parents or this man born blind? God said, it's neither of them. This man is formed to show the power in the creator that we have. God also called him, said, gentlemen, come. Because he wants to prove that, he's, if, that he formed man from the dust. God had to spat on the ground. He made some mud with his saliva and put it on the man's eyes and told him, go to the pool and wash your eyes. The man went as instructed and immediately he received his sight. What an excitement. What a joy. Now, only that encounter, so many things happened to the man. The man's name was changed. No man or woman can call the man a blind man again because the man was a beggar. His status was changed. No man can call him a beggar anymore because God has decorated his life. He removed the coat of shame and gave him a coat of praise. People that saw him going to his normal duty in the morning, they saw him blind. But when he came back, his two eyes were open. He began to see. And that caused confusion in the whole of the community. Because everyone was asking him, how come you see? You left here blind this morning and you came back seeing. What happened? The man said, I met a man who spat on ground and rubbed his saliva on my eyes and asked me to go and wash and immediately I see. People did not believe him. Say, how come? Who is that man? Who is that man? That man, life changed automatically. He became an evangelist because he was taken to court to investigate. Some will even come to his face and say, are you really seeing me? Are you sure you are not still blind? Because they thought he would die a blind man. They thought he would die wretched. They thought he would die a beggar. But the I am restore his sight. Praise the Lord. The man caused confusion. He was made automatically an evangelist. And at a point, they drove him out of the place. And Jesus knew that the man was driven out. Jesus met him. He now asked him, do you believe in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ? Before Jesus could finish, the man said, I believe. And that man that was rejected, that man that was one time a beggar, that man that was one time poor, maybe he was not married, think he can get married now. He become one of the disciples of Jesus Christ in verse 27. What does the name of God mean to you? God is telling someone here that I am what you call me to be for you. If you call me a giver of life, I will give you life. For eventually you are sick. You say, God, you are the giver of life. Restore my head. He will restore your head back to you. Let's open our Bible to Ezekiel 37, 1 to 10. Ezekiel 37, 1 to 10. What does the name I am mean to you? God went to the valley of dry bones. He visited there. The bones were very dried. He asked Ezekiel, Son of man, can these bones live? Ezekiel answered, Ah, master, you know more than I do. You know more than I do. God said, okay, prophesy to these bones and say, dry bones, hear the word of the Lord, that God will make bread enter you and you will come to life again. Then you will know that I am the Lord. And God gave life to dry bones. Things that were not existing, God gave them life. Because God can speak and it will come to pass. He will command and it will stood firm. And I stand on that word of God this morning that every dead situation in anyone's life will receive the life of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What does that name mean to you? I am that I am. God is still telling you this morning 
that I will be whatever you call me to be for you. If you call me your healer, I will be your healer. And Jesus, let's open our Bible to Matthew 8, 5 to 13. Matthew 8, 5, 13. It says, And Jesus, and when Jesus entered into Capernaum, a centurion besieged him, saying, My servant lieth at home sick and grievously tormented. Jesus said, I will come to heal him. The centurion says, No need to come to my house because I'm a man of authority. Just declare a word and my servant will be healed. Just declare a word and my servant will be healed. Jesus answered him, What a fit. I have never seen a man with such a great fit. And Jesus Christ declared a word. And his servant that has been tormented by sickness, his servant that has been tormented of pains, receive his healing automatically. Praise God. God is what you call him to be for you. What does the name I am mean to you? If you call him your promoter, he will promote you. If you call him your lifter, he will lift you up. Let's look at our Bible in 1 Samuel 16, 13, 11 to 13. 1 Samuel 16, 11 to 13. It talks about David, who was a poor shepherd, boy in the field, gathering for his father's sheep. He was diligently doing his job without saying that, ah, how will all let me be in the bush while other of my brothers they are at home? God have to call somewhere that go to the house of Jesse and anoint me a king. Samuel rose up. He went to the house of Jesse. Jesse have seven sons. The first one came. Samuel said, ah, this one is handsome. He's good looking, fair, tall. This is the one that God shows. He want to pour the oil on, on that one's head. The oil that is a liquid turned to solid. The oil turned to gum. Couldn't come out. And that goes on in all the head of this Jesus' son. Some may have to ask. That this thing has not happened, before, happened to me before. And God does not lie. He, he cannot say a thing and he will never do it. So, some may have to ask Jesse, are these all your children? Jesse said, there's another one who is in the bush taking care of her animals. Jesse said, for this your children to waste my time like this, no of us will sit down until that one come. And David, who was a shepherd boy, they gave him a standing ovation. Praise the Lord. They gave him a standing ovation. David that slept a wretched boy. David that slept a poor boy. David that slept a shepherd boy. Become a king just overnight. God promoted him. So if you call your God the I am my promoter, he will definitely promote you. The I am will promote you. And I stand on the altar of God this morning. And I prophesy on the life of someone. That God will promote you. And that promotion will not only come. If he come with a standing ovation. And you will know that the name of God is the I am. Praise the Lord. What else can God do? What else can the I am do? He has the ability to bring the past to the present. Maybe that is where the English people get that word from. Past tense and present tense. You know? Let's open our Bible to Genesis 49, 5-7. Genesis 49, 5-7. Talks about Jacob blessing his children. He told Simeon and Levi that their weapons are weapons of violence. Weapons of destruction. He have to curse them. That he will scatter them in the whole of Jacob and disperse them in Israel. He cursed them. And they went out shamefully. I know they will be surprised. Why will our father curse us? 
Why will our father curse us? He was at the point of death. There's no point to go. Out. There's no time to go and meet him now. Oh, father, reverse this course. There was, was no time like that. But in Numbers 3, 5 to 12. Numbers 3, 5 to 12. God spoke to Moses. Say, bring the tribe of Levi and present them to Aaron, the priest, to assist him. They were caused by their father in Genesis 49. That's the past tense. But the present tense, God called them, God spoke to Aaron to go and call the Levites, the cursed one, to come and assist him. And God did not only assist them. He said, they are to fulfill the obligations of the Israelites. They are to take care of all the families. And in, in verse 11, God said, I have taken the Levites from among the Israelites in place of the first male offspring. And it does not even end there. God has to call them that. God has to say, say the Levites, the Levites, they are mine. So I have good news for you this morning. That it doesn't matter how the past was. It does not matter what is happening right now. It does not matter how shattered the lives have been in the past. It does not matter how your marriage has been shattered in the past. It does not matter how your destiny has been destroyed in the past. God has the power. He is the I am. He can bring the past to the present and refix it. Praise the Lord. What else can the I am? What else does the I am mean to you? The I am, he still has the power. He can even bring the future to the present. That is why we have the future tense and also the present tense. It's from here. This is where they get that idea from. Let's open our Bible to John 2, verse 1. Verse 2, John 2, verse 1, down. Jesus and his mother and his disciples, they went for a wedding ceremony in Cana of Galilee. And the wine was gone. And Jesus' mother said to Jesus Christ, My son, there's no wine again. Jesus answered him, Mother, why did you involve me? Why did you come and tell me? Nobody knew that I came with you. Nobody knew that I'm in this ceremony. Even, even though we were invited, nobody knew that I came. So he told his mother that, knowing well full that my time has not yet come. Jesus knew that his time was not yet come. But immediately, after that conversation, the future, maybe the time has not come, might be like a day time to come, a year time to come, or hours to come. But immediately after that, after that conversation, he called his disciples, and there were six empty jars beside somewhere. He called them. He said, feed those jars with water. Immediately they feed them with water. Tell them, okay, draw out some of it and give it to the master of the ceremony. And he gave the master of the ceremony. And that miracle itself, he also caused quarrel. There was no wine. They brought wine. The wine became a problem. The master of the, the, master of the banquet now said, how on earth will a bridegroom be so wicked? We know everywhere that Everybody bring the best wine at the beginning of the ceremony. But in your own case, because of your wickedness, you brought the best and the sweetest wine at the end of the ceremony. Now, our stomach is full with fake and useless wine. How are we going to enjoy this sweet wine now? They did not know what has happened behind the scene. Jesus' time that was yet to come he used his might and power to bring the future to the present tense. Praise the Lord. Tell your neighbor, Jesus is too much. Tell your neighbor, the I am that I am is too much. And after that ceremony, Jesus started his ministry immediately. Because the time has come. The I am drew the future. What he's supposed to do maybe in the next hour. What he's supposed to do tomorrow. 
God brought it to him so that he can start his ministry. And that was how Jesus started his ministry immediately. Praise the Lord. What else can the I am that I am mean to you? What does it mean? The I am can reverse the irreversible. He has the power. He has the might. He's capable. He has the capability to do what he wants to do at every point in time. Even if you have a bad times. Because I've heard of people that say, ah, I wish I could turn the hand of time. Ha! Ah. So many regrets, discouragement, confusion, frustration going on. So many persons will say, how I wish I can turn the hand of time. I have good news for you today, that God can see reverse the irreversible. Let's open our Bible to 2 Kings 21 to 6. 2 Kings 21 to 6. There was a king, King Hezekiah. God sent prophet Isaiah to go and meet him. He said, put your house together. Put your house together because you are going to die. The time has reached. They were talking face to face. And Hezekiah turned his face back to the wall. He began to pray. Say, God, why do, you, why do you want me to die now? I am not tired. I am still working for you. I have to remind God of the good works that he has done for him. That is why the Bible also said in Isaiah 46 that remind me of the past. Remind me of what I have said before. Let's judge the matter together. And that was what Hezekiah was doing. He said, God, why do you want me to die? I don't want to die now. Look at what I have done for you. Look at what I have done for you. Before the prophet will reach the middle of the house, God spoke to him again. He said, go and meet Hezekiah and tell him I have added 15 years to his years. The king did not believe him. He said, just now, God have added 15 years to my years. Okay, that is fine. I did that to you. But give me a sign. The prophet said, ah, you need a sign? He said, yes, I need a sign to convince me that, yes, I'm not going to die. Prophet Isaiah asked him, so, do you want me to tell the son Maybe it was in the evening. Do you want me to tell the day to turn to in the morning? Or you want me to tell the day to go forward to tomorrow morning? As the guy said, oh, that is easy. It's very easy for the sun to go forward. But I want the sun to go backward. And that was what happened. Prophet Azai, I have to tell the time to stop. When Ezekiah saw it, he said, yes, it's now I believe. That is the God that can reverse the irreversible. He's a God that can turn things around. He's a God, can, can, he's a God that can change things that you think he cannot change. He's a miracle-working God. He has done it before. He is still doing it. And he will still do it. Praise the Lord. So the question is, when was the last time he consulted with the I am I am? We consulted with the I am that I am. What was his last time you fellowship with him? What was the last time you said, God, this situation is too terrible for me. And I bring it before you. When you had a decision to make, a burden to be lifted up, when you are in need of direction in a situation, when you are in need of healing or restoration and you feel like quitting, you feel like tired, you feel like not serving God again, you feel like not coming to church again because you will say, oh, I have fasted for 40 days. I didn't drink water. I didn't eat food. I have fasted for 50 days. I have done all that I could do. I will be faithful to God in pain of, in pain of my tithes. I have sold seeds of all kinds. I am tired. But always remember, the I am 
we give you a solution to that problem in the mighty name of Jesus. Always remember the I am, and you will be surprised how much your mindset will begin to evolve into a positive Christ-like way of life. Let I am be in charge. Let him be in control. Apply the blood of Jesus to your mind, to your body, soul, and your spirit. And your life will, remember, will never remain the same again in the mighty name of Jesus. Paraventure, I'm about to conclude now. As we are seated, you have not had an encounter with the I am that I am. All those things that the I am can do, when you call him and you have not given your life to Christ, you are still wallowing in sin. You are still swimming in sin. You are still whining and dining in, swing, in, in sin. Anywhere sin is, you are there. You cannot call on God and he will answer you. Because the Bible said, the prayer of a sinner is like an abomination unto God. So, if you have not given your life to Christ, I will indulge you to rise to your feet. The I am that I am wants to meet with you today. He wants to touch your life. He wants to give you a new start. He wants to refresh your life with the power of the Holy Ghost. Let all eyes close. Because the devil might be saying in someone's mind right now, don't stand up. Are you the only one in the church? Are you the only one that, living, that is living in a sinful life? But it doesn't matter. Because when the victory comes, when the joy comes, when the peace comes, you will be the one to celebrate. You might only invite us, say God has given you a breakthrough. We should come and enjoy it with you. But when the suffering is there, the pain is there, nobody will come and celebrate with you. Is there anyone who can raise your hand? Raise your hand up and I will pray with you. I did it for some time ago and my life has never remained the same again. Let's rise to our feet. Say, Father. Say, Father. Renew my life afresh. Touch me afresh, O oh Lord. Father, you are the I am that I am. Touch my life in a positive way. You are the God that reverses the irreversible. Reverse every irreversible situation in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, you are the I am that I am. You are the God that do great things and wonders. Father, reverse every reversible situation in our life today. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, perform your wonders in our lives today. In the mighty name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Father, we thank you. We bless your holy name. We thank you, Lord, for the heavens that you have opened over us this morning. Father, take all thy glory. Take all thy honor. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we ask that you uphold us with the right hand of your righteousness. So that our feet will never slip. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, anywhere we are discouraged, Father, encourage us. Anywhere we are tired, anywhere we are weak, Father, strengthen us. Because you are the I am that I am. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, every obstacle that is on my way, Father, remove it. Because you remove the obstacle that was before the children of the Israelites. Father, let it be so in our life in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, perfect all that concerns us in every areas of our life. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Celebrate the I am that I am one more time. Let's stretch with our hand to our pastor this day. And let's ask God to uphold him and bless him like never before. We ask, O oh Lord, that this day, this that he has done, will be counted unto righteousness. Him and his household, they will experience the I am that I am in the name of Jesus. So, Father and our God, we thank you. We appreciate you for you are faithful. Thank you for what you have done. Thank you for what you will still do. Lord, we receive your word this day as a church with thanksgiving. And concerning your son that you have used this day, we ask, according to your word in Philippians 3, 14, Lord, let it please you that you release upon him fresh grace to press further for that prize of his calling. In the name of Jesus, do it, O Lord. 
and let your name alone be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. This morning, we'll be going further to give our tithes and our offering. But I'm, I want to quickly read to us Luke 21 from verses 1 through to 4. And he looked up and saw the rich men casting their gift into the treasury. And he saw also a certain poor widow casting thither two mites. And he said, Of a truth, I said unto you, Jesus speaking now, that this poor widow had cast in more than they all. For all these have cast their abundance, cast unto the offering of God. But she of a penury has cast into the living that she had. Now, if you look at this scripture very well, we quote it times with our number. That widow's mind, widow's mind, widow's mind, out of your widow's mind. But the question to you and I this morning, are you giving all to God just as that widow? Are you giving out of I just want to give? A lot of us this period, there is no cash. There is no way I can transfer 100 naira from my account. Transfer it. You are not the one that will determine what God will do. It's the one that will determine for you. Let's all stop hiding under the canopy of I don't have cash. Any amount you desire to transfer from your account, do it. You are doing now, the network is not allowing you. Get the account number. Do it at your convenience. See, truth be told, God is not the one that will be so changing if you are not paying. You are the one. Because it is very clear that give and it shall be given unto you. Now when you are not giving, what will be given unto you? So this morning, I want to pay my tithe. I have transferred online. I want to transfer. You can do that to account number 101-586-5372. 101-586-5372. The bank is Zenith Bank and the account name is ROCCG Brace Tabernacle. Any tithe in the house this morning, can you be on your feet? God bless you, my brother. Now say that Titan and Aaron. God bless you, man. Go ahead and send the Titan and Aaron this morning. Thank you. God bless you. Speak to that Titan this morning. You remember in the course of the sermon, Pastor told us, he said, God said, let's reason together. Reason with him concerning that Titan this morning. Our Father and our God, we thank you. We appreciate you for you are faithful. Thank you for what you have done in the life of your people this morning. Lord, you have brought to you their tithe. Lord, let it please you to receive their tithe and accept them. In the name of Jesus. My Father, my God, I ask specially this day, according to your word, in Hebrews 7, 2, let it please you that these ones, this tithe, we interpret to their life righteousness in the name of Jesus. And above all, you count them worthy in your presence at all times for them to experience peace. Do it, O oh Lord, and let your name alone be glorified. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. So the choir is going to lead us now. Give that offering from the depth of your heart and also demonstrate to him that you are cheerful with it by singing and by dancing. And as you do so, your blessing will not elude you in the name of Jesus. Amen. <laughs> Follow for go follow for la follow o ga o o to bi o ye ye ifere ko la fi we Follow for go follow for la follow o ga o o to bi o 
God will thank you. We appreciate you for you are faithful. Thank you for you alone. You are the giver of seed. Thank you for giving me the grace, the ability to come to your presence to cast my offering to you this day. Thank you for I know you accept this offering. My Father, my God, let it please you this day. That consigning all of us as your sons and daughters, these will be counted unto righteousness for us in the name of Jesus. Our Father and our God, because we have given none today, Lord, bless us like never before. When others are saying they're casting down, because of this offering today, we are giving in understanding. Lord, we shall be saying the lifting up in the name of Jesus. Lord, when it comes to finances, we will look back and we will see your help. We will receive your help. Lord, finally, as a church, we ask, it will please you to bless your church like never before. Do it, O Lord, and let your name alone be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. And the people of God will shout a louder, Amen. Amen. Let's make welcome Pastor Emmanuel. If that hand clap was for Jesus, can it be better? If it was for the I am that I am, can it be better? Hallelujah. God bless you. I ask that the I am that I am indeed will show forth in your life in this week in the name of Jesus. All right. We want to specially make welcome those that are joining us for the first time. You came to church for the first time today. We want to acknowledge you, we want to pray with you, and want to be a blessing to you. So please, do we have any of such persons in our midst? You're coming to church for the first time. Please, could you stand while we pray with you? Don't be shy. It's your father's house. 
Oh, God bless you, brother. God bless you, sister. You are welcome. Please do us a favor. Just step forward and sit at the table. Just sit, please. The same way you came. Please come. God bless you. You are in the right place. God bless you. At the right time. Be the right people. You never go back. The same way you came. And in hands together we will stay. And in hands together we will stay.
post every Saturday morning by 7 a.m. So please join us every Saturday morning to clean up the church premises. If you wish to know more about Praise Tabernacle, you may visit our website www.praisetabernacle.com or you can as well like us on Facebook and follow us on our YouTube channel with the name RCCG Praise Tabernacle on Gombo. Now just like our pastor has admonished, we can as well make transfer of our tithes, our seed into the church account. Now you can set such tithes offering or seed into our Zenith back account with the account name RCCG Praise Tabernacle. The account number is 101-5865-372. And also we have another account for the projects that are ongoing in the parish. There are several things that we are doing every day, maintenance and several other things. So please, you can as well make your transfer into our church project account, a Zenith Bank account, with the account number 101-6615-945. And as you do, the Lord will bless you really good in the name of Jesus. We are all endeavored to, we are all asked that we should make sure we belong to a house fellowship center. There are several of them. So please make sure you belong to one of our various house fellowship center. The adult education is seen in progress. If you wish to be educated as an adult in the house, please see the Knestesi for more information. Good news in the house. Let's celebrate Jesus. So God be the glory. Prayer summit for the year 2023 is here and it will be happening 24th. On the 24th will be Friday and the time for it is 10 p.m. That's a vigil. 24. That is after this Friday, the upper Friday. So please endeavor to be here. 10 p.m. The program commences already. And on Sunday of it again, we'll be having a combined service which will begin by 8 a.m. Ministry is Pastor Steve Okudolai. And the team for this program is Waymaker. Jesus, the Waymaker. So he's inviting you. So what you need to do now is on the 24th, 26th, put it on your calendar, put it on your phone, put it as an alarm. You just cannot afford to miss this program. In fact, it, they get, there's a gate fee. It's not free. Yes. Coming for the weight maker is not free. So if you are coming on the 24th for the VG, your gate pass, your gate pass to come to that VG is that you must hold somebody. There's somebody. Oh, somebody. Oh, somebody. That is your gate pass, oh, so that you will not come and say they don't allow you to enter. So, come with somebody. Invite somebody for this. Because it is a time where God wants to make a way in the life of individuals. So, you cannot afford to leave your neighbor or to leave your friend behind. So, you must come along with somebody on that day. So, like I have said earlier, ministry is Pastor Steve Okudolaye. He's a friend of the house, a prophet, an apostle of God, and we trust that God will use him to do great things in our midst in the name of Jesus. If you believe that you have been blessed in today's service, can you be upstanding as you lift your two hands to heaven and say, Father, thank you for what you have done in my life today. Can you appreciate the King of Kings? Say, Father, for all that you have done, we give you glory, we give you praise. Unto you be all the praise. Thank you, Jesus. Choir, please sing for us. The Redeemer Santo. Oh, mm -hmm. 
I did not choose you, but you chose me and appointed me that I should go and bear fruit, and that my fruit should remain. Or whatsoever I ask the Father in your name, he may give unto me. I am that I am. One of the events that happened on account of God referring to himself as the I am that I am was that he parted the Red Sea and he gave way to his people, just like our pastor has taught us. Can you open your mouth in 30 seconds and say, Father, in this week as I go, every Red Sea before me, part it by your mighty hand. You said you are the I am. As I go in the knowledge of the I am, Father, every obstacle before me, anything that represents a challenge, by your mighty hand, part it. Let it give way by your mercy. Can you cry to your father? Anything that is a stumbling block on my way to the fulfillment of my destiny, father, I command that that thing will give way this week. Mashadalo sata. Thank you, Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Our faithful Father, we thank you for all you have done again in our midst today. Thank you for blessing us mightily, Lord God, through your word. Thank you, Lord God, for your presence, O God. Thank you, Lord God, for the open heavens. Thank you, Lord God, for indeed, O God, you have proven yourself to be mighty and strong. We give you praise and glory. Be exalted for in Jesus' name. Father, we ask, O God, that as we go forth in this week, you the God of the I am that I am. Father, you will part every rescue on our way. In the name of Jesus. We ask by your mercy, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Malashida do sakada. Ancients of days. That which the enemy meant for evil. God said he would turn it around for somebody's good. In the name of Jesus. I decree by the mercy of God in this week you shall be fruitful. It shall be a week of increase unto you. In the name of Jesus. I decree as the heavens and the earth are far apart. So shall evil be far from you. So shall evil be far from your household. In the name of Jesus. I decree that the mark of Jesus will rest afresh upon you. Evil will see you and run. In the name of Jesus. In this week you shall not be a victim of circumstance. In the mighty name of Jesus, I decree that the hand of God will be mighty upon you. In the name of Jesus, as you go for this week, you will go in safety. You will return celebrating God's wonders. In the name of Jesus, you are blessed on every side. Continue to experience increase on every side. In the name of Jesus, concerning the labor of your hands, the work of your hands, I decree the blessing of God upon this week. I decree you indeed, you will receive great patronage this week. Your business will receive great patronage this week. In the name of Jesus, financial increase is coming your way this week. Indeed, the way maker will make a way for you. In the name of Jesus, that unto God shall be all the glory. Father, we give you praise forever. Blessed be your name forever. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Can we share the grace together in the fellowship? The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. And surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us on the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever, ever. Amen. Shalom. God bless.